Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video I want to show you how you can fill up a container really easily and along the way also create some nice animation as you can see this barrel getting filled up with the cheese balls. So yeah, let's get into it. So I started by modeling the barrel. Nothing too complicated, just a mix between procedural and uh, direct modeling this is how it looks so you can have a look at the file on my patreon and if you're interested in that part and in the rest of the configuration so then i'm importing that low the low poly version of the barrel transforming a bit the the leads so it's not uh, intersecting with the main barrel creating an, R an RBD configure, setting the collision shape to convex hull and also creating the, in this case, uh, creating pack fragments, so packing the geometry. Then I'm initializing a torque attribute and then randomizing it for the for the main barrel. In this case, I had to set a really high amplitude due to the scene scale then doing the same for the lead in this case setting it to 85 and playing with the seed then in the rgb bullet solver i'm just uh, reducing the angular velocity from frame 144 so just reducing it by 0.8 and if we have a look at the final result it will look something like this and after frame 144 it will slow down and get to the rest state. So now for the, the filling of the container, I'm just blasting the, the patch group that I've created from the modeling when I filled the polygons, transforming it a bit, scaling, scaling it up, then adding some normals so I can, in the next step, pick it along the timeline, so going up, as you can see. Then I scatter some points, in this case 14, and as a global seed I use the add frame, so it gets a different result every time, a different seed. Then I'm creating the velocity to feed the RGB, the RBD seam. Uh, in this case, <coughs> by using the cross product product between the the position and the the app vector as you can see so it's creating this effect and from there i can just copy two points and it uh, just a sphere a simplified sphere and it will look something like this Then RBD configure so I can set the collision shape to sphere and also pass the velocity attribute so we can use it in the in the RBD sim. Then I'm I will limit these spheres uh, for every four frames and be, and before frame 120. And in this wrangle, I'm just setting the found overlap so they, they intersect along the way. On the RBD, I have nothing, just really default settings. And then I'm uh, file caching the points, so the simulation points, uh, I can show you. The simulation points, and it will look something like this. So. It all is, is going around and filling it up along the way. So from there I'm just copying two points uh, with those simulation points. I'm deleting everything but the orient attribute so it can properly instance the, the new geometry which is just a, a displaced sphere. And it will look something like this creating this nice swirly animation 
and I'm also placing a label on the barrel and this is a node that I created so basically I'm starting by blasting everything but the barrel then time shifting it to frame one and I have this node that places, mm. places a label on the on the geometry you can find that on my patreon and then I'm just picking it a little bit and point deforming it so it follows the animation as you can see nothing too complicated and then I'm sending this to Solaris and rendering with Karma but yeah this was a quick one to show you how you can how you can fill up a container in a creative way and I would like to thank Swalch for suggesting me to do a proper animation and not just uh, stick with the default filling up uh, because it's lo it looks much better and hopefully you can find this useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.